How to care for your HO tube. Inflation. Lay the tube on a flat surface. Locate the Boston valves. The number and location of Boston valves will depend on the tube model you have. Most deck style tubes only have one Boston valve. Couch style tubes like the G series and the GXT series have multiple Boston valves. Some tubes like the Molecule have four Boston valves. If the valve is not lined up under the nylon cover hole, you may have to tug the tube bladder in order to make sure the bladder is centered correctly. Unscrew the caps from the Boston valves and set aside. First, inflate the main deck. Insert the pump into the hole on the valve cup and inflate until the tube has taken shape. Set the pump aside and screw in the Boston valve. This will stop any air from escaping. Next, take your pump and stick the inflation port in the top of the valve. Air will flow into the tube but will not escape. Continue to inflate until the tube feels firm to the touch and most of the wrinkles have disappeared. Screw the cap on the top of the valve and close the velcro flap. Next, inflate the backrest, spheres or outer ring. Follow the same steps as the deck. Lastly, inflate the rider dividers or stability wings if your tube features them. These have a beach ball style valve and can be inflated manually or using the small attachment on the pump. Your tube will perform best when it's fully inflated. If the tube isn't fully inflated, there will be room inside the cover for water to collect. Water inside the cover is heavy and will rapidly decrease the life of your tube. Don't overload with more riders than suggested, or it could cause damage to the rope, tube, or boat and adds a safety risk for riders. Follow the instructions on the tube WSIA warning label. Deflation. Let the tube dry out fully before folding and storing. Make sure the tube drains are pointed downward when drying to allow water to fully drain. To deflate, unscrew all Boston valves and pull the caps on the beach ball valves. Note, this pump does also have a deflation port to assist in deflation. However, it's not necessary to use the pump to force all the air out of the tube for folding and storage. Folding. Once the tube is dry and deflated, lay the backrest down, forward, towards the center, then fold the tube in half by pulling the toe attachments toward the opposite side. Last, roll the tube towards the valve to push any remaining air out of the tube. Store your tube away from direct sunlight. A cool dark location, such as a boat storage locker, a garage or shed, is a good location. But as long as it's not in the sunlight, the tube should last plenty of seasons when you follow these instructions.